Oh my god, he stayed in. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he stayed in. He stayed in. Why would you stay in? Oh god. Don't be a Moonblast. And here we are with the battle. We are going against my good homie Shay in the hashtag bars UPA. And we see him with a Scizor, a, a Roaring Moon, a Fluttermane, a little Rat Mouse Pikachu knockoff thing, whatever you call it. I can't remember his name right now. Grafai and Toad Scroll. Um, Leeds? Honestly, Leeds? What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? What do we want to do? Uh, Rotom could be actually pretty cool aside from the Toad Scroll. Um,. Because if they lead off, I mean, yeah, if they lead off a Toad School, then we can go to Annihilate low-key. Um, or we could just lead off a Magneton and get off a big chunk of damage against the thingy. But honestly, I think I'm just going to go Rotom. We'll lead Rotom. So he wants to lead off with. We're going to go ahead and punch it in as fast as we can because we're very much uh, low on time. So we're cool, cool, cool. We'll see what he wants to lead here. I have no clue. It could be Scizor because he wants to U-turn momentum um, if uh, I have a bad matchup or if he has a favorable one, I should say. Um, but yeah, good luck. Have fun to my homie Shay. How are y'all doing today? I'm just coming at you guys with the bars tonight. Um, it is a night for me. Uh, we see Burton. It is going to be the Flutter Butter, which is a little bit scary. No lie, a little bit scary. I'm going to go right on to Mudsdale. I'm not even going to like mess around with this thing because I don't want to take damage on Rotom for any reason. So we're just going to go into Mudsdale. Um, because this thing could, he could be a sub flutter, which would be scary because he could just get a free sub. Or if he's like specs and he wants damage, then that's, uh, it's going to be what it is. You know what I mean? Flutter main does flutter main thing. So it's going to be a little bit scary. We'll see what it is. Could be also like a focus ash lead. As I ramble on here, we're going to go on to our Mudsdale. Hopefully be able to tank a hit. Uh, we see a Moonblast off rip. What is it going to do? Not that much. Cool. It's going to lower our spectacular. Unfortunately, we're going to dash stamina boost though. Um, who does he go out into here? It could be the Toad Scroll. Um, honestly, uh, he doesn't really have the best EQ switching. Um, surprisingly enough, I kind of want to switch out and make a double and go out into something like Chen Pao. Um, so, like, I want to do that. Which, honestly, I think I will do. Then I'm going to Chen Pao. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Oh my god, he stayed in. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he stayed in. He stayed in. Why would you stay in? Oh God, don't be a Moonblast. Don't be a Moonblast. It's a Moonblast. Oh, that's a dead Chen Pao. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, he caught me. I don't even know if that was a read because I really didn't think he was going to stay in. But now we're bad. <laughs> so I guess that's what you get for playing too aggressive. Don't do that at home, kids. Don't do it at home. That's crazy to me. So we're just going to heavy slam here. I really didn't think he was going to do that. So he's going to, I guess he's like focus sash. I guess he's just focus sash and that had to be what it was. I guess make, I mean, I guess he's going to lead off with it. Yeah, it's focus sash. Unfreaking fortunate. Unfortunate, bro. Unfortunate. So uh, we're just going to heavy slam again. That's so very bad. That's so very bad. I gave him my Chen Pao, which is terrible. It's terrible. It's great for him. I'll tell you what, it's great for him. It's looking good. It's looking good for him, but it's terrible for us because that helped us out in the end game like so much. It helped us out in the end game so much, but um, <laughs> it is what it is. We're going to try to bounce back from it if we can, if we can. So, oh, wow, man, that's twice. That's twice in like the past like week or so where i've gone against offensive threats that have just been let off as a focus ash lead which to me it just blows my mind it just blows my mind and it got, it got me he got me he got me so um we're gonna go out into uh we can just go into annihilate here i think is our best bet because i can't remember if we have speed on us or not i think we do um but we can taunt it at the very least so um, if they go for sport here, so be it. We're going to try to save Muzdell for whatever, um, as a sack at the very least. Um, it really sucks that we lost Chen Pao. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We're going to try to um, see what this thing does to us. It's going to do a chunk. All right, cool. We're just switching for this. Not much. Um, I'm just going to Rage Fist here. If they go into which I'm going to call it, that's a little bit crazy. Actually, do I want to Rage Fist? I could Drain Punch. Then I can Drain Punch to get a little bit of HP back. Or does that really matter? Um, I think we could take three. It's a three eight KO. Uh, I think so. We're just gonna we're gonna drain punch. Cause it's looking like a three eight KO. The HP might matter in the long run. He doesn't have a fighting uh resist. 
uh, aside from yeah he doesn't have one he doesn't have one so we can easily just go for a drain punch here um if he does go for a spore it doesn't matter too much so he's gonna earth power here is a stronger move he could get a spadef drop which he doesn't uh which kind of would have been good for us kind of would have been kind of fire for us actually so we're gonna drain punch here get a little bit of energy back hp back i should say um do we want to pop our chesto early early because we're eating hits um i think we can pop our chesto because he's gonna hit us and then that could put us in a predicament so i'm just gonna rest here um if he switches out that's a little bit scary yeah okay cool so he's gonna hit us again maybe he gets a spadef drop which would kind of be poggers doesn't we're gonna rest here the toe screw is gonna disappear as we take a nap and it comes back um oh my goodness tell you what <laughs> it's not funny that i took that hit i mean that i lost shen pao but it's funny it's not funny but it's funny um it's very unfortunate that's what happens when you do aggressive reads always against the homies you know i try to i try to show out use the big brain sometimes the big brain is just not just not the best thing to do because i really thought i really really thought homie was going to go into toad school or something to eat like an incoming eq or something of that nature um on my potential rocks or something um but he didn't man stayed in because he was sash so that is super unfortunate um but now we're just gonna rage fist it up if they go into graphi eye um, I guess so be it, but he does need off to stay in. So this thing will drop to a Rage Fist, 100%. Boom, shakalaka. It is a dead uh, Toad School, 100%. Boom, dead. Cool. Um, now the thing is that Roaring Moon is probably going to come in here. And if it DDs, that's scary. Uh, booster Energy, scary. It's Acrobatics, terrifying, scary. Um, yeah, there's not really much I could do to it, to be honest. And it becomes a 50-50 with my Magnezone because I'm Terra Grass. And granted, we could eat an EQ if we do Terra Grass, but we can't eat an Acrobatics if he opts to read it. Um, but I guess he would have, it would be a 50-50 for him because it would also be like, yeah, Roaring Moon actually just comes in here. And because I don't have my Chen Pao, it is a very, very bad time. Ghostbuster, is that the Roaring Moon? It's not the Roaring Moon. Interestingly enough, do I want to stay in here? Oh, if you revival blessings, that's gonna be a nightmare. Um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna rage fist here. He could be sash revival blessing. I'm gonna double shock here. I think we can eat this. We do eat it. Very nice, perfect, and it's life orb. So this thing is dead, dead. All right, cool. So we're doing the thing. It's not a ghostbuster because it didn't kill it. It didn't kill annihilate. So it's not really a ghostbuster. It's not a ghostbuster, bro. It is not. It is not. It is not. It is not. Um, they could go into um, Sizzle right here and pick me off uh, for sure. But that invites in my Rotom for free. They can go into Roaring Moon, which uh, they would have to attack me at that point because um, uh, Rage Fist could... Yeah, so they go into Roaring Moon here. And I think they have to Rock Kill me. Um, I'm going to go for a Rage Fist because that is, I feel like, my best move. I could taunt, but it's not really worth it. Drain Punch. I feel like Rage Fist is just my best play in general because I feel like they would tear it here, potentially. Um, but yeah, they just have to kill me, which they should. Nihilate goes down. So we've, we're, we're even losing two mons. Really sucks though. <laughs> I, I lost my Chen Pao because boom, right here. What do I do? I go into Chen Pao and there's, it would be like the perfect scenario. Um, now it's going to have to go for a Chi Yu endgame, um, which I think is very doable because he has this plus the Scizor plus the, um, can't remember what other mons he has in the back. Um, I'm going to want to him here because I can get up a reflect. We are max defense. Um, what is in the back? I can't remember. Bro, I'd be sitting so pretty right now if I just clicked. <laughs> um, Grafia is in the back. Okay. Um, we can kind of... Yeah, we can deal with that because if it's Prankster, then uh, it can't touch us too much. Um, we just go for a reflect here because he has nothing but physical attackers. Oh, he has three mons down. We have two. Oh, how the turntables. How the turntables. We're going to reflect here. Um... It's our best play. I'm gonna U-turn here. Not gonna do too much. Very nice. So we know it's not choice in any way. It could be boots uh, because it is terror flying. And I do have some hazards. I have Mudsdale, which is a very reliable rocker. So can't be too upset about that. Jeremiah comes out. That is probably going to be the little guy. There is the Grafai Eye. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Ring Derp Reflect. I'm gonna... 
I feel like now is the time to go into Mudsdale. I could Volt Switch, but I don't really want to take damage. So I'm just going to go into Mudsdale because then we can get a free um, turnout into Magneton because uh, they could Parting Shot here for sure. Um, and if they do, it's honestly not the worst thing in the world. So I'll just go ahead and do that because they have this. They have three mods up. They're these three. So it's great. We're fine. Really glad he didn't Revival Blessing because that would have been a problem. <laughs> it would have been very problematic. Um, Swords Dance. Oh, baby. Uh, we have a Reflect Up, though. We have a Reflect Up. We have a Reflect Up. We're going to go ahead and Earthquake here. Um, we might be able to live because we are in Mudsdale and it's behind a Reflect. And it is a Grafai, but I don't know if it's going to be able to do enough damage, to be honest. I really don't. We'll see. We'll find out. I'm not defensive. I'm like fully Spadef horse. We are Spadef. So we might be able to eat. Might, be able, <laughs> might not be able to eat. Um, I'm hoping we are able to eat. Um, Cause this thing, it, you know, it's not status, so it doesn't have facade, and it, uh, it does have facade, but it's not status. Um, it's normal gem boosted. I'm pretty sure we're dying. If we don't, that's crazy. Oh my god, we don't, yo, Grafia's cheeks, <laughs> Grafia's cheeks. Oh god, so we're just gonna bop this thing with the earthquake, 100%. And there goes little Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a lemur, Dunna. was a good friend of mine. He popped a normal gem and then he died and said, ooh, I hope you had a good time. Ooh, that's off the dome, by the way. That's off the dome. Um, <laughs> but that's... All right, so maybe we didn't need Chen Pao. I mean, Chen Pao would have made life a lot easier, but that is so funny that we had to reflect up. It was SD plus the normal gem boosted. Granted, it is facade with base 70 power, so it's not the strongest, but had I gone for a Will-O-Wisp or Rotom, that probably would have been terrible. So I'm glad I didn't have Will-O-Wisp because I would have been tempted to do it right there. So we're going to go for a stone edge here because if they opt to terra and dd that is my best play so i'm gonna go for crunch we're gonna die 100 must have did the thing though i'm not i'm not upset <laughs> i'm glad we saved the horse i'm glad we saved the horse um we have a reflect up um i go into magneton here oh what does he have he has roaring moon he has scissor i definitely wrote him to help me and i definitely need you so um i do go into magneton here and what we do i mean he can't he literally cannot terra flying right now look oh my god magneton's so cute bro he's so cute um he could terra flying but i mean i doubt he does i'm gonna terrestrialize here and i'm gonna click flash cannon into steel beam because i think that's the bestest of plays because flash cannon should put it in range of um my steel beam uh we're gonna terrestrialize first so he didn't have to terrestrialize which is cool um, so even if he did, Flash Cannon still does the same amount of damage because Flying doesn't resist Steel. Uh, but granted, if he, um, you know, if I Thunderbolted there trying to predict, which for no reason, then it would have been problematic. But we Terra'd here just in case he does go for the EQ. Um, gonna go for a Crunch, which makes sense. Safe mid ground play. Um, we're gonna be able to get a fat Flash Cannon off right here. Does a lot of damage. Um, and I'm just gonna opt to Steel Beam. Uh, cause it should just die. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna opt to U-Turn. Not Bueno. Not bueno. Not bueno. That's very not bueno. Um, is it bueno? I think it's bueno actually, because we might just let we might just let this go down, because we can um. Uh, we're gonna steel beam. It's gonna not do. I might might tickle. I might tickle. Oh, that tickled for sure. That definitely tickled. Um, and we're just going to opt to Thunderbolt here, because we might be faster than this depending on how much speed he has. But um, I don't. I mean, Bullet Punch might not kill, so. Um, we're just gonna thunderbolt here actually so that was actually poggers thank you <laughs> that was actually that, that worked out that worked out pretty well so we got a lot of damage on the scissor which probably means i mean he could be pretty fast then because i assume i don't know the damage calcs on what uh steel beam from my set does to a max hp scissor i don't know if it's a 2 ko um or not but if he's not running speed that'd be great um and i think thunderbolt from this range he has quick attack not gonna be enough gonna be able to just bop this thing with a t-bolt and boom bada bing the sizzy is down um roaring moon still is looking pretty scary though because um we our magneton has been whittled down and the things in the back don't necessarily like dealing with it because i only have uh <laughs> electric moves and my water move on my um silly little rotom so those don't uh affect it too greatly and then i have a chiyu he's gonna u-turn here makes sense um i wonder how many turns of reflect we have up I gotta check on that so that way Chiyu can kind of run away with it. Um, that'd be great. Does Reflect wear off now? It does wear off now. Perfect. Okay, cool. I mean, not perfect, but it's perfect. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and go into Rotom. Um, he has U turn, Crunch. Um, I don't know what else he has. Um, he can't safely Terra though, which is great. 
And we're just going to opt to go for another reflect. 100%. Um, if he has outrage, so be it. He has crunch. Going to hit pretty dang hard. I'm going to go for reflect. Um, and I think what I do is I volt switch here. Because uh, we can safely go on to Chiyu. So I'll volt switch. There's a crunch again. Um, getting the defense drop, which is kind of sad, but it doesn't matter too much because we're getting up out of here. There's a Volt Switch. Um, it was a crit. It was a crit. I mean, I mean, I mean, defense drop for a crit. I mean, if he has Roost, that would be something. That would definitely be something. Uh, we're going to go into Chiyu here. Um, I could Flame Charge, or is it in my best interest to Willow? Might be in my best interest to Willow on the off chance he does have Roost. I think that is my best like bet because if he if we don't kill I, I mean I just I, I'm just gonna Willow. He does have Roost. See that's why that's why we do it because I just went for the attack right there that kind of would have sucked. So we're gonna Roost right here. I mean he's gonna Roost right here. We're gonna be able to fire off a nice little Willow Wisp, um, which is cool. So that's good. So this thing is nerfed and we are behind a Reflect. I'm going to Flame Charge here because this is the very set. I don't know if he had Willow Wisp on it, but this is the very same set <laughs> that flinched my roaring moon to death so hopefully we're able to do the same to our buddy i don't want to but we kind of have to because this thing is actually problematic um so there's the eq shouldn't do too much that actually still does a lot so there's a flame charge that still does a lot oh my gosh this is actually gonna be i can't believe that did that much i can't believe that did that much i don't know if that says something about chi use defenses or if that says something about orange Blue's attack um but we're going to willow wisp here because we have to I'm not Willow Wisp. We're going to Dark Pulse here because we have to, because we can flinch. Now that 30%, that still does a chunk. Um, going to Earthquake. Owie. Um, so actually, judging the damage that did that Dark Pulse did, um, maybe we might be able to kill it with a Flamethrower. If I had Fire Blast, I'd definitely be good. But maybe Flamethrower might be able to do it. Does it do it? It does not do it. That did way less. What the? Why'd that do less? Because the Dark Pulse damage kind of did a chunk, but that did nothing. That actually did nothing. So he has to, like, he has to roost. It's his out. Um, how many turns of reflect do we have is the question. Um, why? Check status. We have two. So it's looking a little bit uh, scary for you, hero, here. We're going to have to go for flinches. We have to 100% go for flinches. See, that does, that looks like it did this, like, you know, going to roost. He's just going to waste my reflect turns out, which is not, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. Not ideal in the least bit. Because now we have one turn left. And I, cause I, I got rid of my Magneton. That was kind of poop. So we're gonna Dark Pulse. Gonna Dark Pulse. Oh, is a Burnt Roaring Moon going to beat me? Oh, we got the flinch. There's a burn chip. Um, the fuck wears off. Now I have to go onto Rotom here, right? Cause if I go onto Rotom on the EQ or the Roost, it doesn't really matter. He could crunch. Um. Or I could just try to, because either way, I feel like I lose. Because if I go on a Rotom, I have to Flame Charge again. So I think I just have to go for a flinch here and then pray for the best. So we're going to Dark Pulse here. And we're going to flinch, 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 flinch. We do get the flinch. I'm so sorry, Shay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. That's just, it, just it, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to Dark Pulse again. We're going to Dark Pulse again. And that's what <laughs> so I guess it is confirmed that Chiyu is the Roaring Moon check, which is hilarious to me. That is absolutely hilarious. I'm I mean, of course, I you don't want to hack the homie, but you know, you got to go for your out because he was he was roosting away and that was he he was looking pretty solid. Uh, but Gigi's a Shay, um, that was a fun one. Uh, definitely threw my Chen Pao away. The end game would have been very, very different uh, had I just not done that play with my Chen Pao and sacked it off. But um, GG Sashe again. Apologies for the flinches, but you gotta do what you gotta do to win. Um, that was a fun one, like I said before. Make sure to go check out my homie Shay um, and all the other lovely coaches down in the UPA hashtag bars. But without further ado, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post. But now, without further ado, for real part two, <laughs> I'm gonna get about your hair and I'll catch you next time. Bye.